So the Dollar Tree put out these new bamboo boxes and I thought they were absolutely beautiful. I definitely had to haul these. So I picked up some to use as is and I picked up some to DIY. Here are a few of the ones that I picked up in the Dollar Tree. Different colors, different sizes and styles. I thought these was absolutely beautiful and I just had to pick these up. So as I mentioned, they are definitely cute as is, but in today's video, I'm gonna do some really simple DIY hacks on how I'm gonna style these around my home. I hope you enjoy today's video. Um, welcome to my channel, Lovely Moments Creating. If you're new here, my name is Jenny and I create budget-friendly home decor that is very easy to do. I apologize for any noise in the background i'm actually doing this out on my patio so there's kids playing and there's all kind of noise including the wind now for this first set because i'm going to be doing a set of two i have two different sizes of the same boxes and uh, what i'm going to be doing is just taking off the top part so what i'm going to do is just flip it back a little bit I'm keeping the little hook so the little hook is how my pieces are going to hang on the wall because these are wall pieces and I'm just flipping it back just a little bit so that it can be even with the wood piece and then what I'm going to do is take the scissors and cut that part off I am going to still be using the pieces that I cut off all the pieces that I didn't use in any of these projects today trust me I am going to save them because this is some really nice bamboo um, fabric I guess that's what you can call this and I'll be using this in future projects so that's how it look and I'm just going to go ahead and cut this piece off the second one what once I get this piece cut off what I'm going to do is because of the inside of these boxes is the unfinished side because these have some kind of protector or some kind of um, light fabric on the other side or mesh um, I wanted to have the finished side on the back so I'm just cutting off the little cute bead that's attached to it and I am saving all of these beads because they are really cute and then I'm just going to cut off um, the one on the other one and what I'm going to do is cut these down to size to fit inside of um, the boxes I just have to scrape the little tag off the box so I'm just lining it up to see how much I need to cut down and then I'm just going to clip it down to size and as I mentioned I am keeping all of the scraps from these projects because I definitely can use them in future projects and then I'm just going to make sure that it fits inside so that the backing can have the finished side as well I'm going to cut the other one down for the other box and then a two attach these and make sure that they are secure in the inside i'm just going to go in and add a line of hot glue to the top and the bottom that is all this need to secure these pieces and i think these turned out really cute for some wall decor all of these projects in today's video are simple and just easy diy hacks that you can use to style these boxes I'm sure there are so many ideas that you can do with these boxes. I know I have plenty more, so I know there's going to be a part two to this video. How adorable did these turn out? I love miniature decor, and this just gave me a really cute way to style some. So I do have another one of the smaller versions of the boxes that I use and I am going to just pull out that little hook that's easy you just pull that right out in the inside I'm going to keep these hooks as well I am going to be removing the tag off the back and just popping this right off the wood pieces these boxes are very easy to dismantle as you can see it just pops right out and another prize is these little wood pieces that you can definitely keep and use for future projects as well I'm just cutting down any extra strings that may have came off while I was pulling off the um, wood slices and then once again I am going to get that little bead off and add that to my collection because these little wood beads are absolutely adorable and I'm definitely going to be saving these now what I'm going to be pairing with this is one of those 
wood trays from the Dollar Tree. Um, the unfinished wood trays. I absolutely love the shape and the style of those trays. So what I'm going to do is take some of my wood stain and I'm going to stain um, one of those trays. And here it is. I'm just going to go in and give it a nice coat of stain. And then after I get that complete, what I'm going to do with that bamboo fabric is uh, cut it down the size so that it can fit right inside of the tray. And I just, I just love this fabric. <laughs> and I love the two-tone colors. And that's why I decided to stain this because I thought it would look great with the two-tone light and dark. So I just turned it over um, to the back side so I can get a perfect um, fit. And then I'm just going to find where I need to cut it down. I did want to, um, I wanted to be um, cutting down this fabric as even as I can for each project because I don't want to destroy any of this extra fabric that I can use for smaller projects or just for little finishing touches. So I wanted to make sure that all of the um, fabric was as good as it can get. I did have to cut that down just a little bit to fit in and how adorable is this tray? I just really do love how this turned out and I styled it on this little cube that I have next to where I sit and watch my little videos and it's just adorable. Now here's another one of those boxes and I already dismantled one and here's that sheet here and I am going to pull this one back and cut the top, top part off of this one as well. Once I just cut it down to size. I'm just going to have this cute little box here and then now I'm cutting off the bead and the strings that's on the um, fabric that I already pulled off another box and then I'm just going to put um, the one that I the lid just right here to the side because I'm going to use that as well and then, then what I'm going to do is fold a piece I'm making a four pack of coasters and I'm just going to fold how big I want the coasters as you can see this fabric have like a film on the other side so that was perfect to make my cute little coasters and so I, I needed a total of four so that's why I'm going to use the flap part from the box that I have and then I did end up with two nice little pieces that I can definitely use um, for future projects and I'll show you how much I had left once I clip this down and I do love this color and so this is how much I have that I'm going to add to my stash and that is it I have four beautiful coasters and what I'm going to be doing is styling them in that cute little box and how adorable are these I really do love how this turned out as well easy and budget friendly Now this next one is definitely a quick DIY hack. I'm just removing the tag from the bottom of this box and I am definitely going to keep this one intact. This is just a cute way to style them. So I'm going to take one of those chunky stems from the Dollar Tree out of that pack. I always pick these stems up when I see them in a the Dollar Tree. I'm adding some hot glue to the bottom and placing it right to the bottom of the box. I'm going to take one of those little... Um, LED tea candles and I'm going to place it right on the stem. I added the stem to give it a little level and just to have placement for the little candle in the box. I am going to style this um, from the back that way you don't see the um, opening and it just looks like a cute little nightlight. I really do like how this looks. So for the next one, I'm going to be using two of the larger boxes and I have this light color and I'm dismantling these boxes just by removing it from these two side wood pieces that I'm definitely going to keep in my stash. And then I'm going to remove the hooks and the little bead. And now I have two pieces. Now you can attach these this way to create a nice runner or this way to create a large placemat. Either way is cute, but I need a runner for my mantle now I wish I would have did three pieces because I would have liked this longer but what I'll do is I'll pick up another box of that size and that color to attach to, to these two but that is it I added some of that light color duct tape to keep them together added it to my mantle and how cute is this
So I already took one off of another box and if this was just a darker one and I'm going to cover up one of my LED candles. Now I think this is a beautiful, this is a beautiful way to um, upscale one of your LED candles. What I'm doing is just wrapping it around to measure how much I need to cut down and cut off. And then what I'll do is get my scissors and uh, trim it down to size. Once I get it trimmed down to size, I'm going to attach it using some hot glue. Um, I just wanted to make sure that it was perfect so it can be seamless. Here are two scrap pieces that I had left over that I'm excited to add to my stash. So I'm just going to add a line of hot glue to the bamboo fabric at first I was going to add it to the candle but I decided to add it a line to the fabric place it on the candle and just wrap it around and then add some hot glue on the other side where it meets so that I can have that seamless look and after I add the glue and get that attached, that's going to be it for this project. I think if you wrapped some jute twine around the center of this, that will be cute as well. But I just love it looking just like this. It is absolutely adorable. And I really do love how this turned out. So simple, so easy to make. Thank you all so much for tuning in and watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video just as much as I did. If so, please remember to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you here. As always, in the comment section below, let me know which one of these DIYs were your favorite. And let me know also if you have seen any of these boxes in your Dollar Tree as well. Until next time, my sweet friends, stay safe so that I can see you in the next video. Yeah.